Long ago, two races ruled over the Earth. One day, they all disappeared without a trace? Chloe, my world. and I don't know what's going on. <gasps> what? Howdy. It's me, Flowey. Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Mmm, I can feel them wriggling. Aw, oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. I don't know what's going on! And forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. What? But don't worry. Your old friend, Chloe, has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. I don't understand what's going on. Oh my god. What the fudge?
It's graphical! What is happening? You called for help!
we have any? You! You! File 3 loaded? You idiot. <laughs> Did you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world. And you? You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you? This is very earthbound, by the way. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is going to get to see you die. What happened? Why didn't the bullet kill me? How'd you... Well, I'll just... What? What? Where are my powers? The souls? What are they doing? No! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! I don't know what's happening. I am completely lost. Why did the soul... What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. What do I do? What do I do? I'm I'm going to look it up. I'm too scared to to mess this up. I, I, I'm, I'm blatantly looking this up because I'm terrified. I'm literally shaking. What to do? I the internet isn't helping me. Internet, I I'm angry with you. You have failed me. But but Okay. I have to think about this. <sighs> I have to think about this. If I spare him,
if I kill him, if I sp spare him, oh god, I don't know. I don't really think it's a good idea to leave genocidal flowers alive to kill people. But I also feel like maybe he could use some counseling and possibly a friend. God damn it, I hope this isn't the right, wrong decision. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I don't understand it either, but I don't want to kill. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. Where am I? This is the ruins again. What is going on? Toby, what is going on? Timmy Chang. Again. Hey, is anyone there? Well, just calling to say you made a snowman really happy. Well, I'm glad someone is, Sans. Guess I should say something else, too. So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies. But as friends, it's probably for the best anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. If we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get you out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. Attention, human! I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of, except instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're always helping Dr. Alphys with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. Undine is helping her, too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion-inducing, but I think Alphys likes having her around. Please don't noogie the phone. Hey, who's in charge here? Me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's uh, only one member now, but he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't noogie the skeleton. Anyways, now I'm working as Alphys' lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. And I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can bench press seven children? Awesome, right? I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault, he... I miss the big guy. Come on, Undine, snap out of it. Um... I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her, but she can get through it. I am there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? 
It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the queen. Toriel, do you wanna... She says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to, we wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. But call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. But what is going on? Hi. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends. But now, you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So don't, I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Is life really that unfair? What if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alphys? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows, maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon. What? Long ago, two races ruled over the earth, humans and monsters. armor again, let me tell you. But, what is going on? Help. I don't know what I'm doing. The strategy guide has abandoned me. Hey, uh, this is Undine. Shut up, pirate. But, pirates, this was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk! That's new? Beware of the man who speaks in hands. to ask you. <sighs> okay, 
Let me breathe. Uh, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Okay. Dancing on a boat is danger, but good exercise. Deliver a letter. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? No, no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Ah, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god, did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no, that's adorable. And I had no idea you wrote that way. It's surprising too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven, much less, um, this. And so passionately too. You know what, okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Oh, what? What? Ah, uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. How do I look? My friend helps me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Ah, uh, anyway, let's do this thing. Hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Uh, maybe you can't use that. I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Hmm? Uh, do you like anime? Yes. Me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go? Let's go to the garbage dump. Um, here we are. This is where Undine and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. She's really, uh, oh no, that's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I uh, realize if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Have you at least seen her? I don't know what to say. Yes. So she's somewhere around here? Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry, I just figured It'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of 
pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. Undine's the person I uh, really want to go on a date with, but I mean, she's way out of my league. She's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. I feel so called out by this entire game. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undine the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it, or obviously let's roleplay it. It actually sounds kind of fun. I'll be Undine. Oh, right. Obviously. Hi, Undine. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Glad to hear it. So I'd like to talk to you about something. What is it, Alphys? I haven't exactly been truthful with you. Undine, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. Like telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undine, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undine, hold me. What did you just say? Uh, Undine, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, no. I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. I mean, Undine, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was scientifically important, but I used it to make ice cream, and those history books are just dorky comics in the history movies. Those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. Alphys. I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undine, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. What? Alphys! I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. She's safe, you! <laughs> I love her! 100% at maximum power! So you don't have to lie to me! I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore! Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are! And I know you just... And I know just the training you need to do that! Undine, you... You're gonna train me? What, me? Oh dear. No, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are! <laughs> Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undine, I'll do my best. <laughs> oh my god! She was kidding, right? 
Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Yes, I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Did I do any of that right? I don't know. I no longer know anything. I... I... Help me. Help. Howdy! If it isn't, my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished her training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there, to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. That was kind of suspicious. Do you remember anything? You jerk. Oh! Somebody asked for that! I thought it was just random! In the hotel! I don't know how long this video has gotten. I don't know how much more of the game there is. I don't know anything. But I do know I'm going to deliver some CT, so... We're gonna do that now. Maybe that will unlock the true ending. I just want my dad to be okay. And, and the queen, the queen is... The queen is Toriel, they said so. I guess that right. I don't understand. There's so much I don't understand. Cinnamon bun. I don't remember. You pour CT under the door. That's just the way I want it. Here's a tip. You got 99 gold. Thanks a million. I don't remember cinnamon buns. Were they here? Nope. Maybe Snowden had them. Cinnamon buns. I don't know. I'm not going all the way back to check. <laughs> We're going to Alphys's lab. But I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. There's me. It's a note. Read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. For that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. 
I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. What? What did you do? What is going on? Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power! M tether stability lost! Altitude dropping! What is happening? What did you do, Alphys? Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. I've done it. Using the blueprint, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death, the will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. What did you do, Alphys? Elevator lost power, enter the center door. <laughs> Buy chips, no. Asgor asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Why is the operating table sticky? Hi. What the? F what is it? What is this? What do I do? It doesn't even have a name. Take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Nobody came. Be seeing you. Become one of us. On the ground, Drain dropped it. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Okay. Alright. We're back on to a strategy guy here. Alpha. 
Alphys, what did you do? What did you do, Alphys? Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep in injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. One of the bodies opened its eyes. What? It's an empty dog food bowl. No! F fuck that. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. We need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So what about something that's neither human nor monster? Oh my god. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds stick to you and won't let go. He was just... Oh my god, it's a combination. make Floey? To hold monster and human souls? I don't want to sleep in the bed. What is this here for? What is that? What is it doing? Oh god. No, 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 don't touch me. Please don't. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Do I get anything? Where's the key? Did I not hold still long enough?
Do I get something? Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. No, 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 no. Welcome to my special hell. But nobody came. Did she smush monsters together? These were all responses to that I used to could give monsters. This is terrifying. DT extraction machine inactive. do something else. Searching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them, and I don't think he should. Gory, wake up. What is it, dear? Why do you have that video camera? I want to get your reaction. What is my favorite vegetable? Carrots, right? No, my favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. If I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? I would be a Mamaranian. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mamedian. That was Toriel and Asgore. What? Okay, Anna, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Anna? This time I 
got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Those flowers got him really sick. I should have laughed it off like you did. What? What is going on? I don't like this idea, Anna. The kids don't cry. I'd never doubt you, Anna. Never. We'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Anna, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Anna, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Anna, please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? What? I don't understand. Why is someone named after me? Oh god. Oh god, don't make me do this. Oh god. Okay. Alright. My heart can start anytime it wants. Like it's breathing. What were you doing here? What does no, 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 no mean? Now that Meditan's made it big, he never talks to me anymore, except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. I don't know how to deal with this. It's dogs. What did you do? And she... She didn't finish Meditan because she wanted to force them to keep being friends? Like, there is a point at which your completely understandable depression becomes incredibly abusive. Like, like, 
was bad when she was using medicine to to try to force to put me in danger and 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 then she could save me and we would be friends and now oh this I have a lot of feelings the families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home what am I supposed to say I don't even answer the phone anymore Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute tea cup he found that looks like me. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Why is it shaking? <gasps> She's screaming. Horrifying. Why? What happened? Where does this key go? situation. Please don't. Please don't attack me. Please. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had and... Anyway, the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back, but that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth, that I might run away or do something cowardly. Ah, uh, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. 
During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself, I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. No, okay, I'm not okay with this. That's not a happy ending. You, you mutilated people. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live. Oh, and you created Flowey. Excellent. Wonderful. The flower's gone. It's a voice you have never heard before. Anna, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Anna, see you soon. What does that mean? What does that mean? She melted people. She melted people together. And she created Flowey. She's done incredibly horrible, unethical things. I take back saying that, that she's an excellent depiction of depression because while well, she is, this is a little bit different than, than, than... God, she's, she's, she's been responsible for so many deaths. And I know her heart was in the right place, but... But Jesus freaking Christ, this place needs a medical ethics board. It's like goddamn Nazi human experimentation here. Or monster experimentation here. And I have friends, so I get to have a happy ending. I just, just, just... I feel like there should be some kind of consequences for that behavior. I don't know what they would be. So, maybe I'm wrong. But holy shit, I'm not having happy feels about that. God. She created Flowey. She, she took a flower and injected it with consciousness so it would hold human and monster souls. And he's been miserable and in pain. And he's killed people. Oh my god. I don't know how to deal with any of this. I'm not, I'm not okay. I thought she was just a sweet little nerd who, who watched a lot of anime. Not friggin' Dr. Robotnik.
with me and protecting me. He just let me dump out on my own and didn't even freaking tell me anything. I I love her, but but geez, Toriel. And the drawing on the wall, I said before, it looked like flowy, and it is. It's flowy! Flower! Flowy! I can't say, I can't do the long owl sound. I wish to speak to some people about the fact that depression does not mean that we abdicate all responsibility for our moral decisions. I am a child, and Toril didn't try to protect me or tell me anything. And and Alphys has had, and didn't tell the families about what happened because she felt sad, but... Everything's so quiet. Oh god, I don't know what to do. Am I doing the right thing? Who was the voice that I'd never, I'd never heard before? And why are people using my name? On the tapes. Who was Anna? How did they have my name? There's a safe point. The end. <laughs> Wait, is this right? This can't be right. Is this the right? Did I make a wrong turn? Please don't do this. You don't know what's gonna happen. Determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. The 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 the. What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. Arguable, arguable. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. Yes, I am a child, Toriel. You, God, it's a fucking miracle that your children survived as long as they did. If this is your child rearing, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Kitty. Sorry, oh, off he goes. I yelled. 
and ultimately it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> wait, so... God, I have a lot of feelings. I love these people and they're all terrible. Which is, I guess, a metaphor for reality because none of us are perfect, but... But... Tori will let me go off alone without any kind of real valuable information. Asgore's been murdering people who may or may not deserve it. I mean, I love him. He's, he's my dad, but he's also basically Voldemort in terms of how many people he's murdered for his soul collection. And, and Alphys is like Joseph mangling it up in her basement of horrors. Eh. I want to, to take Sans and Papyrus and Undine far away from them. But I still love them and I want to eat butterscotch pie and live in their garden and teach them to not be murdery, neglectful assholes. And why, why did it know my name? Why did it know my name? That's freaking me out. No, Asgore. Asgore! Human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> hey! Nobody hurt each other! Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel, hello! Uh, hi! There's two of them? Hey, nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undine for help. Hello! Oh, hello, your majesty! Psst. Hey, human! Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? That voice! Hello! I think we may know each other? Oh hey, I recognize your voice too! I am Toriel! So nice to meet you! The name's Sans. And uh, same. Oh wait! Then this must be your brother Papyrus? Greetings Papyrus! It is so nice to finally meet you! He's blushing! Your brother has told me so much about you! Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life! Asgore is crying! Oh my god! Can I go hug him? Hey, Papyrus! What does the skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm... Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly! A skeleton tiles his roof with... Shingles! <laughs> I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Undine's totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you've just got to, uh, 
stop going after furry boss monsters and just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god! Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action! Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No, he's right. Let's do it! Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back! <laughs> Wait! Not in front of the human! Uh, right. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you will be happy here. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? Why? Why do you hurt me? You idiots! While well, you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are gonna be mine too. And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them, without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach, and then tear it away just before you grasp it, over and over and over. Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. I'll keep you here no matter what. Even if it means killing you a million times. God, help me. What was that? What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. <sighs> That's right, human! You can win! Just do what I would do! Believe in you! Hey, human! If you got past me, you can do anything! So don't worry! We're with you all the way! Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you! Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him! But somehow I know you can do it! Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined! We're with you too! You got this! You've got to win! You can do it! No! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You... You... I can't believe you're all so stupid! All of your souls are mine! No, 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 no! No, 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 
Finally, I was so tired of being a flower. What is that? Is that? Howdy! Anna, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Azriel Dreamer. But he died. is earth bounding at me I don't know what to do Attack infinite, defense infinite, the absolute god of hyper death. Hope or dream. You held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. No, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. So can you stop? You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. But it refused. Oh god. So I can't lose, but I gotta win. this. All your progress, everyone's memories, I'll bring them all back to zero. Then we can do everything all over again. feel the empty space in your inventory gets smaller and smaller. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it! Through determination, the dream became true, your hit points were maxed out. And then you lose to me again! And again! No. You 
don't have to do this, Azrael! You really don't! And again! Because you want a happy ending! Because you love your friends! <laughs> because you never give up! Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far, it's gonna be your downfall. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. What the fudge? Oh my god, it's the thing in the basement. No, you won't get me! Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. No. Oh my god, give me my happy ending, you jerk. Behold my true power. I swear to God. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. whole world is ending. Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. The whole world is ending. I can't do anything else. Come on, show me what good your determination is now. The whole world is ending. I can't even use my items! Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. You reached out to Azrael's soul and called to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appear. This is for your own good. Oh, I don't want to fight. I don't know why I did that. It was, I think I pressed the wrong button or something. How do I... 
What, what do I... Oh god, there's so much. You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. Guys! You refuse to fight the lost soul. Tell the lost soul that you have to go if you're going to free everyone. You tell the lost soul you prefer butterscotch instead of cinnamon. Our memories are flooding back. Seeing her remember you, the male lost soul tried hard to remember you too. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. You feel something faintly resonating within Asriel. No, crumbs, that's not what I mean to do. Just give up. I did. What? What do you mean you gave up? Sans, I don't understand. You told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. <sighs> Why even try? Sans, why are you so depressed? You told the lost soul you think about what you've done. It seems like it's trying to remember. You'll never see him again. You asked the lost soul to take a break from fighting with you. Its memories are flooding back. Seeing how nicely you treated its brother, the other lost soul remembers too. No, wait! You're my friend! I could never capture you! I'm rooting for you, kid. You gave the lost soul a big smile like you remember she likes to do. You asked the lost soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you. You clashed against the lost soul with all of your might. She recognizes your fighting spirit. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. The lost soul appeared. You asked the lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. You hate me, don't you? Ow. You asked the lost soul for help on a quiz question. She barely holds back from keeping you giving the answer. I've got to keep lying. You call the lost soul on the phone. She starts to sweat. Suddenly the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul, stronger and stronger. It seems there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? It's us. I, I don't understand. Oh, oh, oh. It's the wee little baby.
you feel your friend's souls resonating within Azrael. What, what did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? I don't need anyone! Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! Anna. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No, that's not just it. I'm doing this because I care about you, Anna. I care about you more than anyone else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, stop doing this and just let me win. Stop it. Stop it now. I'm so afraid, Anna. I... I... Little Asriel! I'm so sorry! I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Anna? I know. You're not actually Anna, are you? Anna's been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk? That's a nice name. Frisk, I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monsters as well. They all care about each other so much, and they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undine, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. I, uh, well, uh, what? Press, come on. You're gonna make me cry again. Because besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power. With everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. Is he gonna take down the barrier? Now we promised that if we won, we'd take down the barrier. <sighs> oh. The barrier was destroyed. I'm a wreck.
Brisk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Mm. I am so very broken. I don't want to let go. Frisk, you're you're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? <laughs> well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Okay. I will. Okay, is that the end? This video is probably two hours long. I'm sorry. Frisk. This is all just a bad dream. Please wake up. What? Oh! You are awake! Thank goodness! We were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? You made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears. No, no. The important part is that Frisk is all right. Here, Frisk, why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. How about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though from what, I am not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. But really? Okay, I... I am gonna end the video here. Because I know this has gotten to be like two hours long. And I also need to go cry for a bit and think my thoughts. But I will come back and we will do an epilogue talk. <laughs> um, wow, this has been Undertale and... That was a wild ride. I didn't expect any of that. That was the most I think a video game has ever surprised me, ever. Um, I'll see you in the next video. My name's Anna Myrtle, and uh, I'm literally shaking right now. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.